Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of uh, Chewing the Brew. Today I'll be talking about the Black Boar English Style Porter by San Juan Island Brewing Company. Um, the San Juan Islands are up in northwestern Washington state. Um, they're out in the uh, uh, San, the Strait of San Juan de Fuca, which is where the Pacific Ocean comes in between Canada and Washington and the Puget Sound heads south. And so, yeah, that's where they are. Um, I assume San Juan Brewing is located on or near those islands. There are several uh, islands up there. They're very pretty. I like the islands. There's some uh, old military bases up there that you can visit. There's a lot of um, whale watching in the street. My wife and I got to do whale watching there one time, and that was that was something special. And our friends who live up the, on the islands talk about how they can sometimes see whales from from the beaches. Um, so this is an English style porter. So I'm going to expect this to be very low bitterness, focusing on the classic porter style beer. Um, we talked about a breakfast stout recently, and so this is uh, the style that stout was derived from. It's the original kind of dark, heavy beer that was meant to be a daily bread kind of beer for people who ported luggage, who carried luggage around for their jobs in, in England uh, 100 plus years ago. Um, so really low bitterness is what I'm expecting. Um, relatively low ABV being that it's supposed to be a traditional style. So higher ABV beers, that is five and up, are relatively new inventions and reliant on more modern brewing techniques. And so I'm expecting this to be relatively low in um, alcohol content as well. And it is indeed only four and a half percent, which I mean, that's more than a, you know, than a Bud Light, but it's still relatively low in the grand scheme of uh, modern beer, though it is high in the scheme of historic beer. Um, this is uh, the Black Boar. Apparently it's named for San Juan's Pig War at the mid-1800s, where the only casualty happened to be a British pig. <laughs> Who knew? Um, I have not had any San Juan Brewing Company beers before, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Um, I suppose I could search through my untapped history and it might prove me wrong, or you could search through my untapped history. There is a link there on my YouTube profile. Feel free to add me if you'd like. Um, but I don't believe I've had any San Juan Island Brewing Company beers before, so I don't have an opinion on their craft quality. And maybe I'll form one today. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a good one. Anyways, let's open this up and see how it is. Porters are not supposed to be sweet, necessarily. They are a dark beer. This is definitely, um, I mean, that's coffee. It's like Coca-Cola. It's like pouring Coca-Cola, actually. It's not black. It's it's brown. It's a dark brown. Um, you can see kind of the amber jewel color uh, through the glass in the light. Uh, so it's, it's actually relatively light for a porter, uh, light in color from what I'd expect from a porter. I'd expect them to be closer to, you know, dark browns and blacks, but I mean, still it's, it is a, it is a dark beer as you can see. Um, it's just, it's not super dark, which is probably once again, going back to historic styles. Uh, they do actually list the malts involved here. And there are Maris Otter, Brown, Crystal Medium, and then flaked barley. I'm not familiar with the um, the otter, the Maris otter malt. Uh, Crystal is a uh, is a um, a malt level, I believe. Like th that's a, a level that they've roasted the malt to. Like it's a color. Crystal malts produce this color of beer. Um, brown is obviously brown, and I'm guessing that's where the dominant color comes from. And I would guess that the Maris otter is also a darker. Um, but whatever the case, this is a very pretty beer. Um, like the, that, it, it's almost like 
It's to the brown side of ruby. Like, you know, so it's like a really rich amber. Really pretty. Here's a pretty beer. <laughs> see what it smells like. Hmm. Dry, bready. Like, uh, not like burnt toast. No, it's, it's like, it's not even rye cracker. It's, but there's something dark smelling in there. <laughs> Maybe some salami? <laughs> hmm. Possibly some uh, cantaloupe melon? That's interesting. Definitely roasty. So it's not like burnt toast, but there's maybe like, you know, your neighbor grilling, but before they put the meat on. So that kind of burning charcoal flavor or smell flavor. There you go. There you go describing f smells, scents with the term flavor. Did that in another video recently. A bit grassy. Um, so English beers, like English were the, some of the ones to, to develop, uh, bitter beers, uh, you know, English bitters is a thing. Uh, but in general, when you're talking about historic styles and European beers, when you're talking about bitterness in those styles, you're talking about a bitterness that is far less than comparable styles or modern styles developed in the U.S. In the U.S. is where we get the hop heads, the people who love bitter above all um, and high levels of bitter. This, while it, ha while it is hopped, you are going to have hop characteristics in this. They are not going to be uh, super dominant, uh, harsh bitterness. It's going to be a very moderated and modulated bitterness um, that the hops are more there for for the preservative qualities than the flavor qualities. They do impart flavor because they just do, but it's not all about the um, the 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 hops. So about the head, let's see here. The head comes back really easily. That's nice. Um, it's a very fine bubbles. There's a few bigger bubbles, but uh, it's mostly very fine bubbles. And it does it does hang around. Um, it's a bit lacy, or you, you can see it. It doesn't just all slide away. So there's some depth to it. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go in for a taste. Milk chocolate, um, brown, like roasted apples, uh, brown sugar. Um, crackers, um, like, a, like a, a, a basic cracker, not a saltine, but, um, uh, a, a darker colored but unseasoned cracker. Um, wow, that's an easy drinker. This is a very easy drinker. Um, I mean, low bitterness, low alcohol, uh, nice flavors. It's it's not a cup of hot chocolate, but the the overall, like like the characteristic of all, all the things working together, the thing that it evokes to me is the same kind of feeling as drinking a cup of hot chocolate. Um, it's just, it's really pleasant. You know, 
<laughs> you know, when you're a kid and you have the hot chocolate, it's like the best thing in the world and you just glug it up even though it's too hot. Um, this is this is an easy drinking, want to drink more of, keep going. It's tasty and it's easy going down. Um, it has a nice long finish. It's kind of the, the brown sugar notes. Maybe a hint of apple juice uh, going down the back. And then there's a just kind of a pleasant, pleasing, uh, cleansing bitterness that, that kind of lasts. Um, and it's both on your, your tongue and down like the back of your throat as you swallow, which not every beer hop does that. Hmm. That's nice. Uh, there isn't anything hugely stand out. Like there's not one super dominant flavor. It's a very, very balanced, very mellow overall uh, beer. Um, it's 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 a quiet beer. Uh, it's it's not shouty. It's not a headline and flashing neon lights. It's um, you know it's it's the roadside tavern on a little highway cross island kind of thing that has the regulars. It doesn't. It, it's it's not a Las Vegas casino like so so many beers today, and they're great beers. Uh, but so many beers today are very, like they're they're they have a super dominant profile. Like it's it's this we're we're superlative this we're superlative that. Um, we have this flavor by spades. Uh, this is a very not that. It's it's an anti that. It's it's mild. It's mellow. It's comfortable. It's pleasant. It's really easy. Um, and because of that. There's upsides and downsides for that. So the upsides, it's not exciting. But the beers I want in my fridge aren't, like, the, the beers I'm going to keep buying to put in my fridge over and over again are not the exciting beers. They're the beers that are pleasant, that know their place and do a good job at what they're doing. Um, this might be a little too subtle for that, but it's also, it's really nice. It's good at what it does. It's a mild, moderate, middle of the road not trying to uh, you know get super exciting over anything or and and by the same token it's not going to offend anybody right? that is or isn't a good thing you know well the best thing that could be said about Bud Light is that it's inoffensive the problem is it's offensively inoffensive right <laughs> um, so this is not offensively inoffensive it's just it, it's really subtle it's mild it's balanced I should probably stop trying to <laughs> describe it and fill us well that wasn't getting philosophical but anyways um i like that that mildness it's very nice it's a very good characteristic um it might be too mild for its own good i'm trying to think of what foods it would pair well with but i'm thinking that because it's so subtle i'm not sure that i would necessarily want to pair it with anything really salt uh savory and or or um even anything sweet <sighs> You could have it with a real mild dessert, maybe. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be out of place with an apple pie. It might actually kind of help the apple notes in the beer come out a little more. Um, but it's it's so pleasant and comfortable. Frankly, I don't want to pair it with anything else. I don't want it to try and dance with anything else. It's just fine by itself. It's probably best with a book. Um, a cool day, you know, with the spring weather we're having right now. Um, nice cool day beer. Uh, not not a cold day. It would be okay on a hot day. It's light enough for that. Um, but it's it's good. I like that. It hits all the buttons and hits them adequately. Let's put it that way. Not in a yeah. <laughs> adequate is not an is not a bad word. It means that it meets the standard. It doesn't overshoot. Um, so this is a thoroughly adequate, thoroughly adequate Black Boar English style porter by San Juan Island Brewing. 
and I will catch all y'all on the flip side.